Hey, what up, Cyber Heroes? And welcome back to another episode of the Don't Be an IT Guy podcast with Boyd Clewis. This episode is going to be a little different because like, I'm just going to be transparent with y'all. I'm about to give y'all some career development advice with some biblical principles. I was in my prayer closet this morning and I was doing some, you know, some devotional time. Shout out to Miles Monroe, Dr. Miles Monroe, may he rest in peace. I was doing some some training, some not some training, but it feels like I'm always doing some training, man. <laughs> My devotional time this morning, and I was listening to some teaching about leadership from Dr. Miles Monroe. And some of the things that he was sharing in his training, I was just like, this stuff is so good. Tune in and buckle up, it's gonna be good. We're gonna talk about career development. If you're new to the channel, I am Boyd Clewis internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help people upgrade their jobs to a six-figure tech career. If you want to join me on this journey, be sure to like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that red bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. And let's go. So when I'm talking about career development, I'm talking about like this ladder. I've noticed as being a career coach, because you know, I am the six figure tech career coach. And you know, I've helped quite a few people achieve six figure tech careers. And it's really not about the money. It's just about the life transformation. I've noticed some attributes of the people that have gotten the result and then attributes of the people that have not. So we're going to kind of like talk about those things today. But for some reason, people believe that this whole career development advancement thing is just like, OK, I'm right here. And then I just like jump five steps and it doesn't happen like that. There are levels to this. What I want to do in in this particular video is kind of address some misunderstanding, some myths about career development, especially when it comes to like the tech space, not just around what I do, but kind of some of what I've heard and what people believe. For example, my academy is a get rich quick scheme. So first of all, getting a six figure tech career, if you're making a hundred thousand, a hundred fifteen, hundred twenty thousand, that ain't rich. Adjust your expectation. Let's just be real. That ain't rich. I'm sorry. It's not rich. It's not rich at all, but you don't need any type of formal background in IT, cybersecurity, or anything like that in order to make a transition into cybersecurity and become a six figure earner. You don't, but there are some things that you do need. So that's what we're going to talk about in this, uh, this video right here. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. I'm going to make sure that I, I quote the, the late great Dr. Miles Monroe correctly. One of the things that immediately hit me, he said the most difficult project in the world is the reconstruction of a human mind. Man. I literally could like talk like three hours on that by itself. One of the things that we do at Baxter Clues Training Academy is we don't go directly into any type of cybersecurity training or anything like that. We start with the mind because the mind controls everything, especially how you see the world and how you see yourself. In order to make a career transition or elevate your career, that means that we have to go from where we are right now to a new space. That's a transition, usually in career title, responsibilities, skill set, etc. But people think that those things just automatically happen without a transformation of the mind first. There are certain attributes that you have to have to become that person at the next level. And that requires work on your end because the truth is where you are right now is a sum total of the decisions that you made and what you believe about yourself. Because I wholeheartedly believe that people don't get what they deserve. They get what they believe. Somebody needs to tweet that. <laughs> People literally get what they believe, not what they deserve, because I do not deserve to be in the position that I'm in right now. I don't have the education for it, but I worked my butt off and believed that I could achieve it. And so, like, we have to go through this process before you achieve anything great and great. I'm saying that in quotes is relative. Whatever that next phase of your career is, number one, you have to believe that you deserve it. It doesn't matter how much work you do. If you do not believe that you can do it or you deserve to be there, 
you will self-sabotage. And I've seen this all the time. So we'll have people that are joined Baxter Clueless Training Academy. They will go through the training. They'll see the results. They'll see people in their group landing these careers. And what they'll do is they'll be fired up and motivated to get the result. But because they don't believe that they deserve it, they'll go to LinkedIn or they'll go to Indeed.com and they'll type in some random cybersecurity job description or job. Look at the description that asks for like 10 years of experience and four college degrees and some experience that they've never seen or heard and be like, boy, you're a liar. I knew I couldn't do this. Look what this job says. Look at this one job description out of the thousands that are on the internet. I can't believe it. And it just validated everything that I knew. And I'm like, I don't get upset at these people, but my heart goes out to them because I know it is their mind. I myself have made some horrible decisions in my career based on my thinking. Like truth be told, if it wasn't for my wife, Tiana, I would not have accepted the job at American Airlines that transformed my entire life because of my thinking. I did not think that I deserved to be there. I didn't believe I could do it. But she had to convince me. She's like, dude, I've been seeing you doing this for years. You can do it. I believe in you. If you're watching Boothang, I love you. I appreciate you. We made it. We did it. We did it. All right. You got to have somebody in your corner and don't look for opportunities to validate your insecurity because you're going to find them. If you go look for those, you are going to find them. The other thing when it comes to personal development, information doesn't bring transformation conversion does you could watch all my training videos to your blue in the face we all know somebody in church has been going to church for 10 years 15 years 20 years 30 years they show up they know the word up and down but still dealing with the same situation and circumstances for the same amount of time that they've been there but they know what needs to be done information is not enough conversion is and what i mean by this is you have to take the information you have to believe in what you are learning and then you have to convert from someone that's just absorbing what they're learning to actually applying and doing that's the conversion process professional development career development is not a netflix situation i'm sorry there is literally not enough youtube masterclass baxter clues trading academy udemy whatever other platforms there's not enough videos to help you transition to the next phase of your career you have to get out and work it you have to get out and actually do the work and there's a process to that too there's a process and i want you guys to remember this that frequency beats intensity every single time you would actually see better results and more fruit by studying for one hour a day seven days a week versus one day for seven hours because you're going to build that habit that muscle memory that's actually going to lead you to transformation because you're seeing this stuff and you're working with it frequently in this day and age we have this microwave mentality when it really should be a crock pot because if you heat something up in a microwave it's going to be very hot on the outside lukewarm in the center then it just gets cold much quicker but if it's in the crock pot it gets all the nooks and crannies and it is warm and moist and i'm thinking about a, a nice brisket right now i don't know why a brisket would be in a crock pot clearly i don't cook <laughs> we got a chef for that frequency is everything Frequency is, is everything. And all the stuff that I'm talking about right now are things that you can control. And the final thing that I'm gonna leave you with when it comes to career development is personal responsibility. Nobody, and I mean, not even me, I can't help anybody transition into tech, anybody elevate their career without their participation. This is one of the things that I've learned not only through my career, but with my new hobby, golf is one of the only things that I am fully, fully responsible for the complete outcome of what happens. I got to lift the club up. I got to drop the club. I got to swing. And the direction that that ball goes is because of me, because I hit it. But what most people are doing is they're watching YouTube videos of golf training, watching other people swing, but they never go out and practice 
And then they go and play in the golf tournament and look horrendous and wonder why it didn't work. You didn't build the muscle memory. And I use golf as an example because people are trying to make it into tech, cybersecurity, and they're doing the exact same thing. Well, I watch boys YouTube videos or I watch the video lessons in the training academy. I didn't do the hands-on exercises. I skipped these parts. Why is it not working? You got to take responsibility and do the work so that you can become the person. Because at the end of the day, the job that you are going to do really is a reflection of you and your skill set. And so if you know that you want to move into a higher level of income, and influence, then you have to ask yourself, what attributes does this person have that gets them to that level? How often do they study? Are they doing annual trainings? What does that person do that I am not doing so I can get there? Because you have to change. If you change nothing, nothing will change. In order to get something that you never had, you gotta do something you never done. This problem about professional development and self-development is not something that we're facing new in today's day and age. Like the children of Israel before God delivered them out of Egypt dealt with the same thing. The Bible literally tells us that God took the children of Israel the long way to the promised land, not the short way, lest they see war and return back to slavery. Because the way that the children of Israel grew up, 400 years of bondage, the Egyptians would fight all the battles for them. And so what they believed were they were loved and protected because they were being fought for. And if God would have took them the short way, they would have saw war without their normal protection, in quotes, normal protection, they would have returned back to bondage because it's easy to return to what you know. As one man said it, a known hell is much better than a future heaven because you don't know and not knowing is difficult for a lot of people. And that's where faith comes in. When it comes to career development, faith is so important. You have to have confidence in God that he's going to guide your mind and your thought patterns to help you take control of what you need to learn so that you can get the outcome that you're looking for. But you also need to make sure that that outcome lines up in his will for you. To be transparent, it's not his will for everybody to be rich. It's not because some people's hearts are just not right for that. And that will literally destroy you. Money can destroy you. Faith, career development, professional development are all tied together because once you hit that sweet spot and you are doing what is in God's will for you, you become unstoppable. And at that point in time, it doesn't matter what anybody has to say anybody has to say because it's been co-signed by the almighty and then you are just walking and flowing in purpose and it's a beautiful thing my hope is that i see each and every one of you do that whether you believe or not don't matter to me whether you believe or not and maybe this video will push you to some conversion if so come see me at trinity harvest church man <laughs> uh, i would love it i would love it if you got some value from this video let me know in the comments what is your biggest takeaway faith and career development man it is so intertwined i'm trying to tell y'all i'm trying to tell y'all the spaces that i am right now the TV interviews, the stages that I speak on, the opportunities. Like guys, I wrote a book with Forbes. I'm the only person in my family without a college degree. I didn't go to school for tech. I taught myself this stuff, guys. This is all God's work because I lined it up with his will. I can't take any credit for it. And when you get to that place, you will have a heart of gratitude like I do. And that's why I put this content out and share with you guys. I'm an open book with the information, but when it comes to my time, you gotta pay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You got to pay. You got to pay. Now, I will see you guys on the next episode where we'll talk about something cool, thought-provoking. Peace.